Today, we're gonna to be tackling our studio space for the second time. It's going to be massive. Oh my God, is this gonna? No, I'm not playing that in the universe. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I'm like speechless, this is insane. Yes, that's amazing. And thanks to Missouri for sponsoring a portion of this video. Hello and welcome back to The Story Girls and our series Law Vibes where you guys have been on the journey with us in creating this industrial garage space into the lofty office of our dreams where we edit, produce, and film our YouTube videos and all other social content. Today we're gonna to be tackling our studio space for the second time. So we did make it over when we first moved in, but we left it pretty blank on purpose, thinking that we would change it up depending on what video we were shooting, but that was kind of unrealistic and just didn't really happen the way we wanted it to. So I think it's time to actually make some real big changes that we're excited about and get us excited to shoot in the space again. Before we do anything, we need to come up with some sort of plan. We know that we want multiple places to film, depth to our backdrops, and maybe some aesthetic storage. It's the next day and I already know that one of the big projects we have in mind is gonna require a ton of wood. So I'm headed to the lumber yard to pick that up for us. Here comes the lumber. Hello lumber. Welcome. Okay, so much lumber. I think it'll make a good shot. I'm nervous about the barn raising we have ahead of us, but honestly, as I'm taking apart this, I realize that we never even attached this. This was like temporary. We are like, eh, maybe we'll <laughs> get to it eventually, and here we are a year later. Wow, but where, hold on. Yes. Where is this going? Well, there's a space here in the storage room. Here? Okay. Let's just do it, you know? Okay. Our wall outlet. Wall outlet. We're looking for this guy. I knew it was hidden back here. He'll be handy later. Okay, these will go back up. We might as well just take out everything out. Like, yeah. none of it's really staying the way it is. I want to start fresh, baby. I am so strong. <laughs> I can do anything. I think that's not how you roll, Rug. I'm trying to move the table. Priorities. Acceptable? Yes. There's so, so much, much room, room for activities. activities. Honestly, only valid because I just watched Step Brothers again. Again. But, but like I haven't seen it many times. So I feel like honestly two weeks ago, I wouldn't have gotten the reference. But I'm here, I'm in with you this time. On one half of the wall, we're pretty set on making this giant grid shelf unit. And when I say giant, I mean giant. Like 12 feet by 12 feet giant. <laughs> um, but it's gonna be great because we can put all of our amazing decor pieces in there, plus it will just be a lot of practical storage for us and it just acts as a new set to shoot against. On the other half of the studio space, we wanna do maybe something in the collage world, not paint, not wallpaper. It's like a texture and pattern in a way that we've never done before. We actually picked out some digital art to start playing around with. Um, I have a projector. I think the easiest way literally would just be if we can get it to project this big then we can play around and like in real time know I mean, if we're gonna sick. like it. If we can fire that up, yeah.
that's a good start. It honestly looks even better here. <laughs> you know, it's enough to know something, but I'll still be surprised when we actually do it. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Okay, let's print it. So now that we have an idea of what our collage wall is going to look like, Becky's gonna get started on ordering the prints while I get started on patching some holes in these walls. There's a lot of prep work to do here. And we have an episode of How To Go Do, which covers all things basics of hole patching, which we will definitely link below for you guys. Shouldn't have caught it. Just shouldn't have caught it. Okay, so I've almost finished putting together this giant mural that we're gonna have sent off to be printed. I do wanna confirm some of the dimensions with Kelsey though because truthfully, I'm a little nervous on this one. It's huge what we're trying to do. Piece all these pieces together and if anything's wrong, it's going to be obvious. So I wanna make sure I do it right. I think we've been putting it off for way too long. It is time to start these shelves. Me and my shelfie are gonna go work on the shelves now. Look at that white wall. <laughs> Okay, the shelf is going to be massive, like 12 feet tall, but we're gonna build it on the ground and then lift it up, right? That's the plan. Like, nobody's done this before in our group. Why aren't we building it on the wall? We're not building it on the wall because that would just be so much like brackets and... It was, yeah, it was the bracket issues. Like, we wanted to be able to... Make it beautiful. Make it beautiful and bracketless. Yeah. And therefore, we need to like, build it off the wall. That was my logic. I'm sure there's ways to build it on the wall without showing brackets, maybe a French cleat. Or the floating hardware, but that's so much work. And expensive. Brackets yes. add up. Like the wood alone was already so much money. I didn't want to spend another like $10 per bracket. So I think this is the affordable and like kind of easy option, even though it's not easy. <laughs> Easiest out of all the ways. So I think we lay it down how it's going to be there. Yeah but here. It's the next day and as per usual, we are getting ready at our vanity station, literally right here. Um, of course, there's a whole makeover on how we did this, so if you'd like to see it, it will be linked. And helping us complete our looks today is iconic jewelry brand Missouri, which is redefining the way that women purchase jewelry for themselves. You guys are always asking me where I get my necklaces from, and this is the serpentine chain necklace with the flat curb chain necklace. I love how easily these pieces pair together and they just look so good with any outfit. And today I have on the bold hoop earrings, the signet ring, the eternity line band, and the boyfriend bold chain necklace. I also love that Missouri has products that include 14 karat solid gold, sterling silver, pearls, gemstones. I specifically chose 14 karat gold for my items so that I can wear them every single day. I can cook, I can shower, I can wash my hands, and I don't have to worry about any type of tarnishing or changing of quality in the pieces. Majuri is the next generation of fine jewelry for a modern woman and it's made by a woman with over 75% of their employees being women. With collections being refreshed weekly, I know you guys will find an everyday piece that you will love and we can give you 10% off when you click the link in the description down below. We have linked all of our pieces there so that you guys don't have to dig for them at all. Thank you so much to Majuri for sponsoring this video and for these amazing pieces. All right, now that we are looking good and therefore feeling great, it's time to get started on this day, which includes building this giant grid shelf, which we've been talking about. Now's the time to actually do it. We actually brought in some extra hands today because we are absolutely going to need it. Okay, so I think the first thing we're gonna do is 
attach all of our base pieces here. Yeah. Do all and then do we throw this back down and I then keep so. going? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Now that the frame of the shelf is all complete, we're just going to stain the part of the shelf that's touching the wall. This is the last chance to do it before it's up there forever. We're raising the barn. And we're a little nervous because it's big, but it's also we figured it out and we're gonna do it. Yeah, it'll be so good. So this thing might not look that big on camera, but trust me, it's, it's truly massive, estimated to be approximately a thousand pounds. Not very proximate, but it's, it's huge, okay? I don't know how we're gonna lift it. Can we all do it? How many people do we need? Do we have enough people? Will it crack when we literally start to lift it? Will the wood fall apart? Is it going to hit the ceiling? Is it even the right size? Once it's standing, it's gotta get attached to the wall. I mean, who's gonna do that? We all have hands on the shelf. I think we should just start. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, so. We're gonna take the weight. When yeah. we ask you to, we're gonna ask you to take the weight. Okay. And then we're gonna jump, just jump forward. Okay. And we're gonna do that a couple of times. Okay. Shell's gonna make sure we don't slide any closer to the wall. And if anyone's struggling at all, you can ask for help, she'll jump in. Okay. If anyone feels like they do not have it, say it out loud. And we'll listen to you, okay. okay. Here we go, one, two, three. Okay, we have Everyone good? Yeah, you guys. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Okay, maybe we're sliding a little bit. That was actually way easier than all of us thought, but so much better to be safe and prepared than sorry. Oh, girl. Ay. <laughs> Wait until we get the ladder on it. So wait oh my God. All the other shelf parts on it. <laughs> so sick. You ready to fight someone over how good it is? Okay, let's tag it to the wall, man. Oh my god. Hi! Hi! Are you kidding me? So... <laughs> I'm like speechless. This is insane. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. Huge. Can I hug it's it? New backdrop, baby. Oh my god, it's gonna look so freaking The shelves look amazing. I don't know if it's like obvious on camera how big they actually are, but since the ceiling is so tall, it just makes the whole room feel so grand. And honestly, like that had to be a lot of work. So amazing work to Kelsey, Becky, and the whole team. I am super excited to start styling these shelves. And it's not even done yet, but I can't wait to film too. That in the background. This wall was like underappreciated for how huge it was. Yeah. Now it's getting all the glory it deserves. Insane. What did we do? <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> it's a good thing you're here though. Prince just came. Great. We have to piece together this collage somehow. <laughs> yeah. I could use your help. I, I would thought. love to help. I want to get in here so bad. I'll keep doing this for a bit. Yeah, it's almost done, right? The pieces are in, but they're just not screwed in, you know? We got a quote for a custom mural to be printed on one giant sheet of paper, and that was going to be over $1,500 from a custom supplier. So naturally, we're taking the DIY route as always anyways, and we're piecing this thing together with still pretty big sheets of black and white architectural prints. I really think that going with the pieced together look is A, gonna save us money, but also B, really sell that kind of street art collage vibe that we're going for anyways. Okay, so what I have is 16 four foot by three foot pieces of black and white pattern and they, they somehow go together to make some sort of abstract thing. We could, we could look at the inspo picture or we could take the fun route and just try and piece it together. That one, that one, that one. <laughs> I agree, that one, that one. Wait, okay, let's see. <laughs> That's so sick. 
I know it goes kind of light to dark, so the lightest ones will be at the top for sure. So let's get up the four bottom pieces and start there. Sure. That's kind of what I would think I would do. Our plan is to get the mural on the walls to use wallpaper glue. Even though it's not actual wallpaper, it seems like a good idea. It's splashing it's wallpaper so snot. Okay. It's so gross. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, like you take it and it goes like up like that. Okay. okay. I'm trusting you to remember, I'll remember. Just no one touches the paper. Uh, oh boy. Are they gonna bubble? Yeah. Is it gonna be a bubbly boy? Yeah, yeah what do we do? I really know what the plan is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not part of the wall. This is the art we make. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> a couple things happened here. Yeah. It's too wrinkly and it's not Probably glued enough. More glue. We thought the lesser glue approach would be helpful, but maybe it's a little hindering. This is great though down here. It's really cool. And I don't mind the wrinkles. No. Me? <laughs> okay. Kelsey's on set for two seconds. It's the next day and Rochelle and I are going to put up the final pieces of this collage wall while Becky takes over sanding and staining the shelves. Honestly, I've never really loved the color of this door, so I want to try mixing it up. I'm thinking a metallic color, so it kind of looks like a metal door. We into it? Also, it feels like we're kind of jumping around while doing this makeover. It's totally because we are. We're just still a little unsure of the collage wall and where every piece is gonna go. So we're moving on to the things that we do know, which are things like painting the door. <laughs> final day of this makeover and we've made so much progress in this space but there's so much still to do. While Kelsey works on painting some wall planters, I'm going to get to installing this vintage door handle onto our sliding door. We found this piece on Marketplace and it came from the Toronto Post Office circa the early 1900s. It's so cool. I cannot tell you how excited a thrifted piece with a story gets me. I just, when people come over, I'm gonna tell them, check out my handle because it's vintage from Toronto and it's so cool. <laughs> See how this turned out? Oh, I love that so cool. much. It makes it look fully metal. Yeah. Full metal jacket door. Yeah, and I love that it's like, what's the what's Canadiana but Toronto? Toronto, Torontiana. Because it's a Toronto relic. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so we kind of hit a pause on this wall because we we're not sure about the ele other elements, which. Is the lights mostly? Yeah, I feel like the lights are really going to determine where the rest of our collage-ness goes on this wall. So yeah, do you want to start with that? I guess so, yeah. I can't believe these are from Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> these are, okay, this is a cluster of pendants, but then these are going on them. But we think the 
clear glass is not going to do enough, right, with a light bulb? So I did that trick where I tried the TikTok trend of like the Mod Podge on the glass phases. So like we could try that like tinted glass effect on this. It's all about the backgrounds of the videos, yeah. really. So like if there's like this nice glowing light behind us, it's really out of focus, they'd be really pretty. Yeah. I can start the Mod Podge technique on this <laughs> and then you can try to do the hanging of them. Okay, mm -hmm. let's break. I hope this goes well. The lights are hung and my shades are cooking. And I'm back today. So I've been in and out of the office working on other videos, but I heard today is styling day and that's my favorite. So I'm gonna help us get some more prints on the wall and I think we need a little bit more color too. And I think paint will help us with that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's enough to be like that would be it's cool. a good feeling. I would make them a little bit bigger. Even bigger? Yeah. Ah, oh, perfection. Mm. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do one. I'm just gonna go across this. Awesome. They're dripping. That might be cool. There might be a paint drip in that one. In that one. That's pretty cool. Like I, I know you're going for that like, kind of alleyway like art installation collage. And I think it worked. I think it works too. I'm loving this background pattern we chose. I think it's the real, <laughs> the real star of the show. But the other pieces like obviously make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. Well, the like yes, this is gonna be cute. But also the goal is to maximize storage. So I'm gonna just start taking stuff out of here. Yeah, I feel like we have a lot of things we can make cute. Like, we're skilled. Yeah, like all our paint cans are like on theme. Yeah. <laughs> and could use better storage and would look good in the background, so. There's like so, so much Bring it back out. here. <laughs> Bring it out. Okay. Do you wanna see how bad it is in here? Oh, just go for it. Okay, come see. <laughs> Because we knew this was happening, we were like, it's okay. Things don't need to go back home because they're getting a new moment. <laughs> you can't even walk in here anymore, it's bad. But like, you know, all this is cute. You can go out there. This is, I don't know where this came from, but it's something. I think we can make it work. <laughs> My pleated lampshade. Did you buy it? Yeah, I thought I might want to use it in my house, but I didn't, but it's so cute. That's where it came from then. Sorted. Oh my God, this one's <laughs> so, corner candle. <laughs> what happened to these ones? It'd be sick if we could have one just like filled with 
two books stacked in different ways. What is this from? <laughs> oh, Michelle said she found it in the Rona parking lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, we have a lot of items, but I think we still need like just some to flush out our categories. Yeah, and then we'll actually end up using them in makeovers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, if you and Rach want to go to the surf store and like see, we'll just grab. We'll be like Mad Woman. <laughs> yeah. Everything, this could work. This could work. This could work. You want to look at that ladder, the hardware, and all that? Yeah. That really needs to go up before we do too much more. When you guys come back, I'll just be like. I hope you're swinging from... I hope so. I can do that for you. I want you to see a swing from the ladder. Me and Rochelle will do it, let's be honest. <laughs> you guys have fun at the thrift store. Oh my god, and it's, I can't thrift store on a timeline. I'm being way too stressed. All right, <clears throat> good luck with the ladder. I got this. You got it. Uh, don't forget, you need to record those stories. Uh -huh. And I've kind of tweaked the script for you. Uh -huh. So let me know when you want to do that. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. am I on camera? Yes, boss. <laughs> You may remember this ladder from our studio tour, but I think its days as a magazine rack are over because I'm upgrading it to a rolling library style ladder. Hello, Bell. This is going to be perfect to actually get up and use these shelves. It's actually really easy to do this. You can just buy a rolling ladder kit online. I'll link it down below for you guys. I'm so excited about this part. Suing for style? Too small. You want suing? Me? Suing? 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 I know it's just suing, I'm sorry. Right? It's this one? Not crazy? Okay, and now we're lining it up with the top, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, Elsa dropped my pencil. What do you do with it? It's new. Like you plug your. Oh no, it's it's not. It takes a phone line. I was like, you must like plug a smartphone into this. Like you must. <laughs> it's so cute. It's actually funny. Okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay, so I think honestly, like you guys have got a lot of great things. We can place them in, but I think we're at final touches. My shades are done. Oh, sick. But I think it's like, we don't have that much left to do. So throw some of these things on the wall and then we're good to go. Yeah. Is it final touch time? Final touch time. Final touches? Da, da, da. Okay, more on, more da, on the tune. Da, da, da. Final touch time. Final touchy, touchy, touch. <laughs> um, let me know if you like that version better.
don't know when it happened, but one day I didn't want to film in this space anymore because it was so blah and it was so boring and I was not inspired. Now, let me add her. I am so excited to get in here. I am so happy with how this space turned out. I think I'm most proud of us as a team for rallying together and getting this giant 12 foot shelf up and actually standing. And it's so legit, so secure. We did it, we did it. I just wish the camera could do these shelves more justice. They look so grand and luxurious and studious. And it feels totally on brand because we love learning things here at the Sorry Girls. I actually think my favorite part might be the door. It's kind of underrated, but I think that the metallic just looks so beautiful, like metal with the vintage handle. Mm. Underrated star of the show. I think I'm most excited for all our future videos that are now to come in this space with the really cool backgrounds we have set up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those speaking of. I know we mentioned a lot of previous videos in this episode, so if you were curious about anything, it will all be linked below for you to go check out. There is a whole series on us turning this loft into a basically empty garage space into what it is today. And don't forget to claim 10% off of your first order at Missouri by using the link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye!